Okay. I think we have an actual working mic, finally. Okay. There we go, my actual mic. I just had to unplug it and replug it back in. Pretty sure I could tell from my preview, Mankey won the first game. Uh, sorry for the uh, scuffed video as well there. Um, yeah, I think I think Mankey had one stock left when he won, so it's relatively close. Um, it was a while ago, so I think... I know United beat Sphinx to get here, and then Mankey beat... Um, oh, what's his face? The A Ashman. Uh, Mankey's been only using K Rule so far, all the whole tournament, and United's also been only using Young Link so far. Um, looks like United's got some solid from watching the Sphinx set, has some solid combos. Um, it's got good spacing, too. I have not seen any footage of Mankey yet, though, but all I saw was one comment saying K Rule is so annoying, so I'm guessing he gave him the, the real cheese. Young Link, I, Young Link probably has a really hard time killing K. Roll just because most of Link's attacks are not actually that strong, uh, and uh, LOL edge guarding K. Roll. Good down smash. I don't know if United plays anything else, but yeah, I, I don't think Young Link's particularly amazing at actually. I mean, he like beats up K. Roll, but like I said, it's just like really hard to actually kill him. Too heavy, and his up is a uh, hard dead guard. I'm not actually sure Young Link might be able to pull a bomb and throw it down. I'm not sure if that would cancel K Rule's propeller if, like, the blast radius is enough to go through the propeller because you can't actually hit the propeller from the top. Uh, I don't, I don't know the matchup. He might be able to do that. I haven't seen him try yet. And yeah, uh, finally kills him with a Nair at like 200%. <laughs> Hit with 183 left. focus on the match. That's what happens when you T.O. and cast and do everything. You're good. Uh, hold on. Oh, gives him the, the suck and pluck. Didn't see if that was an edge guard suck and pluck or if he just uh, gave it to him all dirty on this on the flat stage there. Dang, Toon Link throws the crown back to him. Not sure what the respawn timer is on K Roll if you just chuck it off the stage. Uh, if it's the same as giving it back to him or if there's a delay. I don't think he's been really having issues with the crown too much though. Um, it just seems like his main issues are uh, that you can't actually kill K Roll as Young Link. Seems like he's doing a pretty decent job of just racking percentage though safely right now. Not that that's overly hard to do with Young Link as um, he's not really going for any combos and the K is a big target so projectile spam will rack up the damage. I think he's feeling that's the strat now is just to play safe getting to like 200% where Nair will actually kill. <laughs> So at this percent, Nair, Nair on the edge probably kills. Um, maybe not center stage yet. Yikes. When, when it feels bad when K rolls live in at 200% uh, and you die at 100%. <laughs> that is the matchup, my friend. That's how it goes sometimes. 
wait, can I get a percentage stat on here? Um, yeah, damage given 389% versus 359% from K roll. Uh, yeah, K roll's living with two stocks. That, that That's how she be sometimes. <laughs> When you win in percentage but get two stocked. Um, I'm trying to see. Let me go back and see whose pick that was. Um, oh, right. That was game two. I forgot. Um, so, yeah, that was that would have been uh, United's pick with Battlefield. I don't know if I agree with that um, against a K roll going Battlefield. I'm, guess, I'm guessing Kalos and FD were banned. I don't think I'd actually go back and check that stuff. Uh, but either way, the next stage is going to be Pokemon Stadium 2. Um, a little bit better than Battlefield. Uh, you can camp under the platforms pretty well. I don't really think K. Rule, again, not a K. Rule expert. He's a new character, too. Don't have much, but I don't really think K. Rule can approach if he sits under a platform very well. Um, I'm trying to think what his fare is. I think his back air is the one that spikes. That's still not really that good for approaching, and I don't remember what K Rule's fair looks like. Have to look at it here, but I'm guessing his fair is not great for approaching either way. Oh, we get the mix up though. We're gonna get the Isabel um, from United. Pocket crown time, baby. All right, let's see if this is just the uh, the hard counter pick for specifically K. Rule, or if he's actually an Isabel player. Oh, wait, is that fair? That looks like a back air type attack, but I think this is fair. K. Rule's just confusing me. Either way, I don't think either's really good for approaching under the platform. I would have liked to see him stay on link, to be honest. Although Isabel can sit under platforms pretty well too. And it's actually working out really well here. Ooh, actually, that's really nice. I don't know if he's an action Isabel player. Oh, I'm guessing that was really good placement on the um. Uh, what do you call that thing? You know the, the little the little statue guy. I used to play Animal Crossing, um, but he places it so that if he goes uh, if he rolls on stage, full rolls on stage, he's gonna hit that. If he goes up short, he's gonna get fishing rod. So this is actually he didn't do it though. Okay, he got the he got the kill anyway, but he didn't put it in the right spot. That was actually like really hot, and then he didn't do it again. I don't know if he realized that's what he did. So he must have not if he didn't put it in the same spot. But I want to see do, I want to see him do that again because that was really spicy. Uh, and he's just winning with uh, slingshots. Slingshots are really good against big characters. Uh, there's really not much they can do about it. Carol's a little bit better because he actually has some projectiles, but like, um, speaking from experience as being a big boy main, um, if you don't have projectiles, like, you can just get slingshot comboed for days. Especially once once he gets in the air. Ooh, that range on that down smash. The earth tremor. Okay, he put it in the right spot this time. And he takes a crown. Pretty much forcing, you get a fast roll with the, the explosives there, pretty much forces an insta shield. So then way you can just go for the reeds here, and you can just read uh, where to fishing rod. If he wants to fishing rod. Um, actually, probably has time to just turn around and go for a grab as well. Either way, should be a punish if he puts it in the right spot. Yeah. Force it. Like, I don't know. At this point, it's just like a mind game because he's going to force the jump. He, he either put, puts a fishing rod down and gets the slow get up or forces a jump and reads that. So he just needs to get work on the reads, but he's got the lead so far, so it's working out. I'm trying to just get some extra percent here since King Carol can kill him with pretty much anything at this point that's not a projectile. 
Gets the slingshots going. Again, K roll's better than at the most heavies. Uh, I forgot. But the counter as well, he can just counter out of the slingshot spam. At least for one of them. 50, 53% extra crit, not bad. Yeah, King Carry will earn in a right back. King Carry Roll's probably got a slight lead here. Uh, not percentage wise, but just because he's going to kill Otter Lid and Isabel here. He keeps sucking up the cannonball, but he's like chucking it right away. Um, probably can hold on to it a bit more. I, I know he wants to like, relatively hold on to that for Crown. Crown's better since he doesn't get another one. Ooh, risky air dodge. If he would have read that air dodge, he could have actually probably just up smashed him there. Here, gets the read on that one. And now I'd say Isabel has a slight lead. As I say that, eats a fair to the face. I'm not sure if this percent if a ground is a free forward smash for K rule. Um, I know Decay is a free forward smash. I don't know if they're relatively the same. This should be a kill. Oh, yeah. oh, he's a living. That was actually a smart air dodge. That's why he's better than me. I want him to get safely directly under, since K rolls. Recovery is really good, um, and he wants to go directly below against Isabel. It doesn't read that. Isabel is at a really dangerous spot here where she can die to a decent attack. K rolls at the spot where a throw at the edge with the fishing rod kills, too, though. Ooh, had the crown. Shields running pretty low for both of them here. Edge guard opportunity. Uh, Isabel doesn't go aggressive. Oh. Oh, the sniper. Snipes with the crown toss while holding the ledge. That was a nice throw. I was just I was just about to criticize. I, I wanted Isabel to play aggressively there because of fishing rod. Um, K rolled went a little bit lazy there and he didn't go directly underneath, so Isabel could have fishing rodded him, which that would have killed, but. Makes up for with the snipe of his own crown. That is 2-1? Yeah, yeah, That was the run back. We'll see if uh, Mankey's got someone dim for when he wants to play against Isabel. Also, we'll see what stage he wants to go. Um, probably, I would... I don't know what she go. Can't roll Isabel. Maybe something like... I don't even think something like Kalos would be too bad against that, to be honest. Just so you get some more mix up of uh, coming off the ledge. You don't have if you don't have that high platform it you can see that this bell can just like cover stuff cover two out of three options just by planting um the explosive i really need to remember what those names are i want to say it's like a geo gyro something like that and then using the fishing rod to cover the other and really if you like times the fishing rod throw you probably cover like almost all three but you kind of just have to guess on the timing Um, let's see. They banned Smashville, Battlefield, and then, um, I don't know, Battlefield was because they already won on it. Smashville and Town of Center are gone. I think he picks, I would say he picks Kalos, personally. Or Yoshi's Island. He picked FD, that's fine. I guess. We didn't see their characters yet, though, so he could be changing characters as well. No, he's still K roll. Okay. Isabel and K roll. Hmm. 
I just I just personally don't even know what really FD does for him. Um, it's not like Isabel really used the platforms. Uh, Kid Roll didn't really either. Just because jumping against Isabel as a big character isn't like super nice because slingshot. We'll see if he went anything uh, fancier or if he just did true FD. Nanky now feeling the cold feet. Also looks like just an update for losers bracket Sans beats Sphinx 2-0. Uh, I swear Sans and Sphinx play like almost every tournament. That's Every, every tournament that Sphinx enters, he plays Sans, pretty much. He played him last weekly, and then he played him in a different tournament, like, last weekend as well. Or this, yeah, previous weekend. I think I think their their total series is now 2-1 in favor of Sans. So, they're pretty even. The juggles. Double ground and a double fister. Another ground. I don't know what percent you get a free forward smash on that, but maybe, I, I don't know. Unless it's just so much worse than DK's, that should be a forward smash, right? Okay. That one was, again, I take his word that he knows when he can get a free forward smash more than me. Loses a crown. Um, it's actually a good point for me to see. Okay, so it comes back on stage after like five seconds. So Dang, this is a whole new game. It was all Isabelle last match, and now it is all K. Rule again. Doesn't even need the crown. All he needs is the pirate hat. Ooh, okay. Probably didn't want to suck that one up. Ooh, the belly bounce read in the cannonball throwback. It's looking dirty. Uh, it's looking like a 3 1 coming up here, but we'll see. I'm prepping the next match while he just goes through, but yeah, it's looking very commanding for Mankey here. Uh, it's fishing rod towards the edge of make kill. Oh, now it should kill. Yep, there he goes. All right, looking to make a somewhat to come back here. Ooh, that's not a good start. He's going for the. He was going for the back air spike. For sure. Trying to end it in some style here. That super armor, though. Ooh. All right. Show him. Give him the stomp into the up air. Uh, so one grab should end the game here. Uh, that will also end the game. That is a light character. That's Mankey gonna be winning it. Three one.
Too much, too much power. 